Good morning everybody, this is Karen. This is a video that's going to explain how you can use the replicate function to fill your page or add any number of copies of your elements. So I'm going to start off with a simple rectangle and the first option that you have is to simply fill the page and that's in the replicate function. The replicate window is right up at the top of your screen to the right. I'm just holding my mouse over it right now. So the fill page function is down below at the bottom of all of these options and all you do is make sure that your element is selected and then click the fill page button and it will fill it. You'll see that there are gaps in between and that's great in many circumstances but I'm going to show you some other options that you have if you want to save space or if you want to save paper, I should say. You can go to the advanced options and you can tell it how many times you want to replicate the element either to the left, to the right, above or below the current element. So I'm going to say that I want to fill it, I guess I'm going to say seven times, I'm pretty sure it's going to fit fine, below the element I have selected right now. And then I'll click the replicate button you'll see that it matches, it uh, places the next element right up next to the first one. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that better. And a little bit more. And you'll see that it will just cut right in the same spot again. And if you were using circles instead of rectangles, then again, you'll see that works out really well. To do a perfect circle, I just hold down the shift key and pull out my ellipse tool. I am going to select my circle. I'm going to go back to, uh, no, I'm already in my, my advanced functions. So I'm going to choose replicate of seven and below and then click the replicate button. And there we go. And I'll zoom in and you'll see it's right on top of each other, but it's not cutting into the other element. Now, if you wanted to fill your page this way, all you do now is you select all of these and now you can replicate to the right. And again, seven copies should probably work out well. And there you go. You've now filled your mat with as many circles as will possibly fit on that page. I'm going to show you a couple of other functions that are in the replicate window and remove all of these. And I'm going to go to my library and choose some corners. Oh, I just saw some here, I think. Here we go. And I'm going to ungroup these so that I can delete the one I don't want to use. And I'll move this one up to the corner over here. Go back to my replicate window. And I'm going to mirror this to the right. And if I mirror it below, and if I mirror it to the left, it shows you what this function does. You can also use rotate. Let's bring this over here and select it. And now I'm going to rotate that five copies and I can do it another five copies and then it's a perfect circle. It gives you an idea of how you could create doilies. Now this wouldn't be a good doily because all those red lines are gonna cut into everything, but it just gives you an idea. And I'm going to show you another feature. If you move this center of gravity, just hold your cursor over it until you see a little arrow beside the plus sign. Take it and drag it out over to here. And now do your rotate five copies and you're going to see it's completely different because now the rotation is based on where this little thing is located. Let's do that again a little bit differently. I'm going to pull it out to the edge of here instead of as far as I did a second ago. And we'll do that again. Rotate five copies. And there you go. Of course, you can also rotate three copies or two copies or one copy, but that's just giving you an idea. Um, another thing that you can do is create a row of three or, <clears throat> excuse me, a column of three or four. And of course, back to fill page. 
you can duplicate to the left, to the right, and that's strictly duplicating rather than mirroring. Mirroring flips your image. So I hope that's been helpful to you on the replicate function. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.